This is the Market Your Business Like a Pro podcast, episode 60. Welcome to the Market Your Business Like a Pro podcast with Ken Countess. Ken is an internationally recognized marketing expert. This podcast will give you tips on how to market your business more effectively than ever before to help you make more money, whether you're just starting out or have been in business for years. And now, here's Ken Countess. Hey, welcome to the Market Your Business Like a Pro podcast. I'm Ken Countess, and with me today is Kay Sanders. Uh, Kay is based in El Paso, Texas, and uh, she is an intuitive business coach. Well, I'll, I'll ask you a little bit about that, Kay. Uh, she's also the international best-selling author of the book Messages of Inspiration. Kay has been featured on CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox, and other media outlets. And mostly what she does is helps conscious entrepreneurs uh, find that missing piece to make their business a huge success. So, Kay, welcome to the Market Your Business Like a Pro podcast. Thanks, Ken. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Yeah, great to have you. And uh, for our audience, uh, today's topic is list building, which uh, Kay terms as the foundation for your business success. And I couldn't agree more. So, Kay, why don't you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Yes, I'd love to. So to answer your question earlier about, you know, the intuitive side, it really means that I'm very in tune into the spiritual side. So I usually use my gifts to really help my clients at a much deeper level. So basically what I do is I'm an intuitive business coach, really helping entrepreneurs to really get out there, share the message in a meaningful way so they can really make the impact that they want to make. So I incorporate my spiritual gifts with the mindset and the business side. And originally I'm from Germany. Actually, I came here two, 12 years ago now. It was 2006 and just had to figure out my way around in the business world, figuring out like, how do you grow a business the right and effective way without, you know, keep going in circles. And now because of my own struggles that I've, uh, that I've gone through in business and building my business and everything, I decided that, you know what, now I want to help other entrepreneurs really to do the same. So that's really short about me real quick. Very cool. Uh, tell us before doing what you're doing today, what, what were you doing before that and why did you stop? Well, before that, I was working as an admin, uh, administrative assistant in a PTSD treatment facility, which also led me to the whole coaching industry because back then I learned about my own struggles. Like my ex-husband left me two months after we got here and I, he put me through hell and I've gone through a lot of my own struggles from PTSD, anxiety, and all of those different things. And when I was working at that uh, PTSD treatment facility, I learned, I was like, I don't want to be like that for the rest of my life. I don't want to have depression for the rest of my life. So I started doing the research. I came across the coaching industry. I'm like, this is amazing. I get to use what I've learned to actually help other people and I get paid for that. Oh my God, how cool is that, right? <laughs> and, but it was like, it was a very, very difficult journey because what I didn't know was how to actually coach someone, how to get clients, how to build your business and all of those different things, right? So, but that's when really my journey started because I was like, there has to be a way. I mean, I know I have gifts. I have this passion to help people. So I really, you know, look for, for answers. I work with coaches. And it was really all of the, the struggles that led me to becoming a business coach because I love the systems, the strategy. I think that's my German background. I love strategies, right? But then it was really that it led to then into the coach, into the mindset and then the spiritual stuff. But it was really my job. Yes, I loved what I did because I was able to help veterans, even though it was just an admin, but it was not fulfilling because I was actually treated really badly, which kind of pushed me to quit my job and go full-time into my business. But now in my business, I get to help people in a much, much larger scale. Before, I was just an admin. Yes, I did a lot. I made a big difference in the center that I was in, but still, my dream was much, much bigger. So that's why I really quit my job because for one, they didn't appreciate me and I was really, I felt like I was in a stuck in a dead end job. And with the coaching, you know, doors really open for me where it's so much more is that really possible. And I'm all about possibilities. And that's actually where my name, Creative Possibility, came from is I love creating possibilities for myself and I, I love creating possibilities for my clients. So in my job, that was really the possibility there. 
So Kay, I really congratulate you on making that bold step of getting out of a job that you just found wasn't very fulfilling and finding something that you could really get your arms around and get really energized about and help people. I, you know, I think it's so important for all of us. I think what, what gives us this feeling of fulfillment is knowing that we're able to help other people um, and enable them to be more successful. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you were able to make that move. Let's, let's talk about how you do that business coaching and uh, the importance of uh, building a list to market your business. Yeah, I mean, list building is really, it's, it's the bare bone of your business. Of course, you need to have your fundamental and fundamental pieces in place in order to really build your, your list, build your business and stuff. But list building is really, it is so important because you can, yes, you can go on Facebook, LinkedIn, or any of those social media platforms and promote your stuff there. But if people don't know you, they're not, they're not going to just buy from you or sign up for your stuff right away because you, they don't know you. They don't know you. They don't like you. And they don't trust you yet because they simply don't know you yet. So the right. best way to do it is you want to get them on your list. And there are numerous ways that you can do that very effectively. And then from there, build up that know, like, and trust factor because people buy from people that they know, like, and trust. And if you don't have your list of raving fans, then no one is there to like you no one is there to really buy from you so by starting your list early on in your business it's really the the key to really getting your business off the ground much much faster and like the people that i work with are a lot in the in the so in the uh, person development industry the the service based industry and Oftentimes, they don't have a brick and mortar business where people can just walk into. So they're doing a lot of marketing online. And the best way to start doing this is, you know, starting with, with a lead man. It's like a free offer of that can be a report, a PDF. It can be an email series, a challenge, whatever it is. But it has to be something of value for the idea cl uh, client. So I guess let's go take a step back. You first need to know who is your idea client. What do they want? What do they need? right now not later on it has to be something mm -hmm. of value that they need right now that they can't wait to get their hands on because anytime you see one of those opt-ins if this is a list building strategy so the person that put up that opt-in they want your email list so you on the other side you have to be intrigued enough by that offer to say yes i'm gonna put in my name i'm gonna put in my email i'm gonna put myself on that person's email list because i want what this person has to offer i want exactly this thing so your lead magnet has to be really tailored to your idea clients what's what what are their, their challenges right now and what answers do they want what questions do they want answers to and your lead magnet should provide that so okay, so give us, uh, give them, give everybody a sense of what you offer up uh, in your lead magnet. What is it that you offer someone in exchange for their email address? Yes, so I have a couple different lead magnets. One is, for example, my client getting formula that outlines five different steps for someone to get clients online. So mm -hmm. that usually when people come to that, they say, oh, I need clients. I'm going to put myself on that on her email list because I want that. Then I have even put my book into a daily email series to help people, you know, be more motivated, more more inspired. So they're getting that on a daily on a daily basis where they get one email a day. So it's, it's different things and I've have done some other things uh, before as well, like a challenge, but there's so many different things that you can do to really build your list. But it really goes back to what does your ideal client want? What do they need right now? And then you basically give it to them. So what have you found to be the most successful lead magnet for your business? It was a virtual summit, actually, because in a virtual summit and for those who are listening that don't really know what it is, it's like interview based. So kind of like what you're doing right now with your podcast, just all more condensed where you get a bunch of experts together. It's, it's more like an event where you get them together, you interview them and everyone promotes your event. So you, if you're the host, everyone that speaks on your summit, they promote your event. So you get to build your list. And then, of course, the speakers, they offer like a lead magnet as well, so they can build their list as well. But that right there, if you're doing it the right way, you can build your list tremendously. I mean, my first one didn't go so well, but then the second one, I mean, you can really, if you're doing it the right way, you can massively grow your list by thousands of people 
uh, within just that one event. Yes, it's a lot of work, but it's very, very beneficial in massively growing your list in a rather short time frame. Excellent advice. Mm -hmm. So when, when it comes to coaching people and, and you're coaching them on a variety of things all related to helping them be more successful, um, tell me about a couple of your most favorite gigs. My most favorite gigs. Hmm. That would be um, a client of mine. Uh, it was more like the biggest success that we had was around the mindset though, because so far, most of the clients that come to me, it's not about what they're doing to become successful. It's really who they need to become. So, you know, most of the time it's about the fear of actually getting out there, fear of talking to clients, uh, even the money, like asking for the money. That was like the biggest thing. And so with this one client, I worked a lot with her on her mindset around money asking for the money, feeling worthy of actually asking for the money mm -hmm. and, you know, raising the prices and those type of things. But as we were working on that, then everything that she was doing from list building, getting clients, doing direct outreaches, everything started to pick up where then she actually started getting clients. So I remember there's a one time uh, she emailed me, she was like, oh my God, Kay, you won't believe I just got two new clients. And it was really because we did the back end work of working on her mindset first in conjunction with working on the systems and strategies because it's one thing when you're out there marketing yourself and those type of things but if you're not really internally if your mindset is not in alignment with that then no, nothing really that you're doing is going to get results even with list building if you don't really believe that your lead magnet your list building strategy is going to be very successful then you're really going to go in circles because it's not going to be successful because vibrationally you're not in alignment with that and you're just not going to attract the clients that you want because you don't even believe in your own lead magnet. So for her, it was really the mindset behind all of these strategies, behind, of, you know, behind reaching out to people, behind creating a lead magnet that we worked on most to really get to the results that she wanted. Excellent. So where do you find the most business owners and, and perhaps you know, with the client base that you serve? Uh, where are they most challenged when it comes to growing their business? Is it lead magnets? Is it growing the list? Or is it something else? It's actually the mindset. That's so far been the biggest challenge. That's why initially yeah. when I started out, I was focusing just on the systems and strategies. But then I realized that most of the clients that come to me, they really have that self-doubt, that imposter syndrome. Like, I can't do this. I can't charge for what I do. I'm not good enough. Who am I to pay, you know, to charge for what I do? So that the mindset is really the biggest thing that holds so many people back. And it, it was the same thing for me when I first started out. It was the mindset that was holding me back, not the things that I was doing because at that time I did a whole lot of stuff. I had so many systems in place. I had courses, I had done webinars, I had done, I had done just about anything that you can think of, but it wasn't getting me the results. And I see a lot of people who are in the same boat. They are on social media all day long. They're posting, they're doing all these things. They're doing the marketing, investing in Facebook ads, but they're not getting the results. And it's simply because you they are not who they are meant to be or who they need to be in order to attract all these things, you know, because you can invest thousands of dollars in, in Facebook ads, but then are you actually ready to receive all that, that clientele that would come from that? If you're mm -hmm. not ready to, for that, then it's not going to get you the results because you're simply not ready for that. So it's really the mindset has been the biggest, biggest thing with all of my clients, actually. Mindset, 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 mindset. Yeah, I have to agree with you. You know, I, I personally, I came out of a corporate environment. <clears throat> I spent a long, long time in corporate America, uh, over 25 years. And stepping out of that and moving into being a marketing coach or consultant, intellectually, I knew I could do it. But the mindset was, gee, asking people to pay me for my expertise it, it, you're right. I, I think you're completely right that so much of it is mindset and, and, and coming to grips with this whole notion of, yes, you are an expert in your field. I mean, most of the people you work with, I'm sure, are expert in something. Um, but coming around to understanding how to communicate the value and then marketing themselves it really can be a challenge. It's, it's a real shift in thinking. Mm -hmm. And so I think someone like you would be ideal to help someone in that mode 
of trying to establish putting themselves in the right mindset and then communicating their value is so key to success. Yeah, because it's easy to do what you're doing for another company because yeah. you're representing that company. It's the right. company's face, right? So if you mess yeah. up, it's on the company, right? You're right. not going to be, you might lose your job, but it's still, it's the company, right? But then if you're on your own, you're the face of your business. You're, you're it. The <laughs> you're the brand. You exactly. are it. Yeah. So if you if you make a mistake, everyone is pointing fingers at you like, hey, you messed up. You shouldn't have done this. Or, you know, that's what most people think. Oftentimes it's not really that like that, but that's what people think. Like, who am I? I mean, can I really do this? Am I really good enough? I mean, you've done this, what you said, 25 years, and then you did it on your own. Even though you've been that expert for 25 years, but shifting that mindset, that is usually the hard part because then it's, it's all on you. So I've seen it a lot is where people have a hard time marketing themselves. Who likes to go out there like, hey, I can do this. I can do that. I can help you. You need to pay me. That's usually where people have a hard time with. Whereas, hey, I'm calling for companies so-and-so, you know, we can help you with this and that. It's just right. a different kind of, you know, energy. It is a different kind of energy for sure. Yeah, but I think once you get over that hurdle, it becomes a lot easier. You know, yes. getting it, you know, that very first new client, you know, when you when you finally land that client, just as you described, you had this client who says, Hey, I got two new clients. Yay. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, what a milestone that is, because it gives you the confidence and uh, you know, helps you realize that what you're doing really is great stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter at that point of now communicating your brand, what you stand for to help you grow your business. So what are uh, some of the things that both experienced and newbies um, should know about marketing their business from your point of view? You just you really have to continuously build your list, be out there, be visible and, you know, not be afraid to actually be out there. I mean, there's so many different ways that you can be out there, be visible because I mean, you are the face of your business. So if you feel very uncomfortable with actually being out there, being on, let's say video, I mean, nowadays video is a really, really big thing, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're afraid of that, you might want to really, you know, work on that because if you don't market yourself, if you don't market your business, if you don't have multiple ways of actually getting your, your work out there, it's going to be very difficult for you to actually attract clients. Another thing I would like to mention is partner up with other people, collaborate. I mean, that is like the biggest thing for me that has really shifted my business tremendously because yes, you can do a whole lot on your own, but just because you're in business for yourself doesn't have to be, uh, that doesn't have to mean you have to be by yourselves, right? And right. what I'd like to do is, I mean, I connect a lot on LinkedIn. I mean, so far for over the past two years, I've been really building my LinkedIn profile, my connections. I reach out to a lot of people. I have calls every single day with people just to get to know them. And guess what? I don't just go into the conversation with, well, they might be a potential client. I have, I'm open-minded because you never know who you might meet. And you can partner up with someone, collaborate with someone, even if they're in the same industry as you. I have collaborated with a business coach before because they're doing something completely different as right. I am. Sure, so your specialty I, is different than their specialty. Exactly. My approach is different. My personality is different. So I don't see those people as my competition. I see them as partners because if you partner up with someone else, you get to reach their network, they get to reach mm -hmm. your network. Together, you can make much, much bigger impact than you by yourself. And even in the beginning stages, you can still partner up with someone because then you can really make create a movement. So I like to connect people with each other. I like to collaborate. I'm always open for those possibilities because there are a lot of possibilities of growing your business in numerous ways where you don't have to do it all on your all by yourself. So my, be my best advice on that one is like really go out there and collaborate, be out there, be seen, be become known, because if no one knows who you are, then people can't really come to you. So, you know, don't be afraid to really go out there and share your message, share your content, share your, 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 your tidbits of, you know, gold nuggets and really, you know, allow people into you really come and find you. And get them to give you the email address. That too. Yes. You definitely want to do that. <laughs> All right. Well, Kay Sanders, thanks so much. You've provided some really excellent advice. And 
And um, I know I picked up a few tips myself about the lead magnet. Uh, I think you had some really terrific ideas. And I'm delighted uh, that you've uh, made that transition from being an admin uh, to being in a, clearly a very successful business coach um, by yourself. So um, I'd like now to just give you an opportunity to let people know how to best reach you. And we could call this your shameless promo or a plug. Well, my website is really the best place to find out all about me, about all the things that I do. I also have some freebies on there, like my, uh, the five, I mean, the five steps of how to grow your business is on there. My mindset magic. I have a couple of freebies on there as well, but my web, my website is ksanders.com. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. That's like my most preferred platform, but I'm also on Facebook. Just type in ksanders and you'll find me. I'm also on, on YouTube as well. So I'm on different places where uh, YouTube, for example, I've created a bunch of videos as well. So, you know, might be some things there that you might like. So but you can find me anywhere, basically. Great, Kay. Thanks so much. Thanks for being on the Market Your Business Like a Pro podcast. And I look forward to the next time we chat. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. That's it for this week's episode. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode and you're a regular listener, even if you're not a regular listener, uh, go ahead and uh, visit us on our Podbean website. That is where we store all of these uh, podcasts. It's marketyourbusiness.podbean, that's P-O-D-B-E-A-N dot com. And uh, follow us there. Uh, let us know that uh, you really enjoy the podcast uh, by following us. And this way you'll get alerted every time there's a new episode. Thanks for being a listener. We really do appreciate it. And don't forget to tell your friends, too, about the Market Your Business Like a Pro podcast. You can find it everywhere. Check out all of our episodes of the Market Your Business Like a Pro podcast. It's on our website, marketyourbusiness.co. Look for the podcast tab, and there you'll find all previous episodes. And while you're on our website, don't forget to check out all the other resources and sign up for our weekly newsletter, too. Thanks for listening to the Market Your Business Like a Pro podcast with Ken Countess. Be sure to visit marketyourbusiness.co to access show notes, discover our fantastic content, and sign up for our mailing list. Have questions? Send Ken an email, ken at thecountessgroup.com or Twitter at Countess Group. See you next time. If you need help with this or anything else related to marketing your business, reach out to us.